All right, brother, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the six signs to see if a woman you're dating likes you. Now, for me, when I was doing my dating programs, I was never big into all these little tactics. Um, generally, it's about your vibe and how you're coming across and you being able to actually feel this woman, feel her emotional state. But with that being said, here are the six signs that are pretty obvious that a woman likes you. The glance. Okay, so I think she look away real quick. It means that she's probably not interested. If she looks down, that means that she feels a little, you're a little bit more powerful than her for whatever reason. It doesn't necessarily mean you are powerful, just in that moment she's kind of catching this strength coming off of you, or she might be insecure. So just because she glances down or something doesn't necessarily mean that she likes you. It could just mean that she's insecure and she's beating herself up. If she's looking at you very coyly, that's a very direct and a very confident way that a woman would do this and generally they're not going to do that unless they're really into you so if you're just walking around the street and you're like looking for glances for a woman to like you or not you, you shouldn't be holding your breath because most women aren't liking a guy just out of the gate they have to get to know you first so just a glance that you come across in, in public or something is not going to tell you anything and really unless she gets to know you then she's going to be a little bit more confident and she's going to try to pull on you some more to get you to notice. Now, she might smile at you, and you may say, oh, she likes me because she smiles at me. Most women are just friendly. Just assume that she's seeing you as average until she gets to know you. One of these things that guys end up doing is they'll, they'll go around and try to see if women like them all the time, trying to see if they can get validated by having women look at them. And if you're doing this, you're in a situation where you're just really insecure. And so if you're looking at all these little signs that a woman likes you, and you're trying to figure this out by like, oh, she smiled at me and she just looked, glanced at me. She could just be being friendly. You shouldn't be the pursuer in this. She should be the pursuer. Like women are the one who generally do the chasing. So if you are the kind of guy who is attracting women, she's going to make it known. So just a smile just means she's friendly, maybe open to conversation. But again, don't go into thinking, oh, she likes me just because she smiles at you, just because she glances at you. Just say that she's open for you to connect with her a little bit more. She's just kind of touching her hair quite a bit. She's trying to make herself look good. She might find you attractive. Either what you're saying or how you're approaching the situation, how you're acting, she might find that attractive. And if this is the case, that could, again, she could be insecure and she's doing that with everybody because she just doesn't feel good about herself. Or if she's really locked into you, like she's really locked in and she's kind of like smiling at everything you say and laughing at all your jokes and she's touching her hair. Now we're getting into the part where it's like she's showing signs that she actually is into you. And then if she's touching her hair and she's really locked in and all this, she'll get really close to you. In other words, she'll kind of get into your personal space. Generally, people are about three feet, right? About three feet away, we talk to each other. Guys tend to stand a little bit further apart. If you're talking to a woman, she'll be probably about three feet away. Again, guys stand, tend to, we tend to keep, want to keep our space. Even when we're sitting at the table, we always spread our chairs even further apart. But if she starts getting into that space, she gets real close to you, like here, and she's really trying to talk to you. Now you're starting to see, and she's touching her hair, and she's smiling, and she's locked into everything she's saying, you're saying, and she's laughing at all your stupid fucking jokes. Now you can say, okay, I think this woman is actually into me. These are the outward signs where you can say that. But at this point, you're gonna be feeling it. And that's the whole point. She's trying to get you to feel that she's into you. And she does this by putting herself right here. Like you can't miss her. And what'll happen is, is when you start losing her, you start losing attention, she'll try to pull you back in. She'll try to get you to re-engage with her and keep you like locked in on her because she wants to demonstrate to you that, hey, I'm interested in you and I'm available. I'm not gonna tell you I'm interested. I'm gonna just open this door to, for this invitation. So if you make an invitation, I'll be able to say yes. And that's what she's trying to elicit within you. Then if she's doing all that and she starts touching your arm, realize that she's wanting to be touched. This is where you, she's actually turned this up. She's turning it up to the maximum level and you're not getting the picture at this point and she's really trying to dial you in. She's really trying to get you to notice what's happening. Now, you can get touched by a woman at any point in time. That just means she feels close to you. But if she's doing all of these things at once, now you can know that, yeah, she's absolutely starting to get into you. And at this point, you should start moving things forward like by asking her for her number so that you can then, you know, escalate it further and actually go on a date or something. All right, brother. I wanna get a little closer here and talk to you a little bit closer because this whole concept of trying to get a woman to be attracted to you and looking for her to give you signs to do something, this whole game of asking for permission to do anything in life and looking for the signs for a woman to like you is very, very weak. You, as a man, should be certain and secure in who you are, so much so that the woman is going to obviously and overtly demonstrate her interest in you. Again, the woman should be the one 
chasing after you. You should not be chasing after women. If you're going around town and you're looking at women and you're, or you're going to your work or you're at school and you're trying to look for all these women that are interested in you, just realize that you're this guy who's a chaser and a beggar. And women tend to run away from chasers and beggars. Why? Because you're not demonstrating power within yourself. You're the slave to this thing, this validation that you're looking for. And I did this for a number of years. I did this for probably all of my college years and probably in through my early 30s. Like this is just how I operated. And it was a very weak position because I'm always looking for permission to do anything, right? Oh, if she's looking, then I can ask her for a number. If she does this, then I can touch her. If she does this, she's giving me permission so then I have permission. Now I'm not saying that you should just steamroll over what a woman wants or desires. What I'm saying is that as a man, you should operate without permission, not that you have to, but when you go and forward in your life in a way that's not asking for permission, then these women will chase you and open doors for you and pretty much beg you or they will insinuate themselves into your life. A high value guy generally does not be chasing women. He might show interest in a woman, but if she's not like reciprocating interest pretty quick after like the first couple of interactions, he's going to move on. Why? Because he's got other women, usually beautiful women who are always vying for his attention. And if you want to be that kind of guy, then you have to stop seeking validation from women, looking for permission from them to move forward. Really, if you want to really have the most successful women, you unapologetically go forth in life and be very secure in who you are and confident in who you know you can be and actually going after that all the fucking time. If you're doing that, you're not going to have a problem with this. You'll find that most women will be receptive to you because you're completely surrounded by men who are unwilling to do this. And so you stand out massively. This is why women are always going around saying there are no good men out there. It's why women are always looking for these features of like, he's got to be six foot tall and $100,000 a year and he needs to be ripped and all this stuff. These women generally are entitled. But the thing is, is that they don't know what to look for because they haven't seen it. They don't know what a real man is. They don't know how to operate. They don't know how these men operate. If they saw that, they wouldn't be saying this most likely. So that's the kind of guy you need to turn yourself into. The guy who actually is secure in who he is and powerful in his presence and being. Now, if you've been dating somebody for a while and you want to see if she's the one, I got a video right here called the 11 signs to see if she is the one for you. And if she is the one for you, then maybe you can consider an engagement. But until she has at least these 11 signs, you should not be considering an engagement with her. Again, dating is just an evaluation phase. She is not your wife. If you're treating her as such, well, you're doing yourself a massive disservice and you're getting yourself locked into something you may never get out. So brother, love you and I'll see you in the next video.